Well, if it isn't capitalism again, this time, Capitalism Lab. And we'll be playing as this fine gentleman, Sir Kaiser Mann of Imperium Corporation. The game has its difficulty rating at 205% for expert players only. Recommended for abnormal players. As for the environment, we're talking about three cities. We'll be trying to play with some some city for production of the cars, other cities for the import of the cars. We'll see if that works. I have no idea. We'll be starting up with very low capital as a private company. Tech disruption, obviously, this is awesome. It allows for 10% of technology to be lost every year. And retail, multiple floors. I think that's a pretty cool concept. Competitors will be running with eight. They're all with very low capital and expansion aggressiveness. The idea here is to make the game last a little bit longer and not become hectic so quickly. As for pricing, it'll be at moderate aggressiveness as well as competence of local competitors at high. This will allow for a more exciting game. DLC, we'll be running the subsidiary DLC. This allows for warehouses, which is pretty cool. I think the banking and finance DLC is also cool, but I don't own that yet. As for products, we'll be running with one seaport of each per city. The idea is to make things, as I mentioned, a little bit slower and constant support, uh, constant import supply, sure, but low quality. And goals is to become, in 40 years, a 1 billion buckaroo mister, as well as dominating the automobile industry. Now, let's get started. So, talking about the cities, we've come down with two very nearby cities, Nice and Surmarche, both with real wages of 73 and 70, and what can potentially be our production location, Jakarta, with 42 real wage. But when we look at each of these cities and we take a look at the seaports, so you have in Jakarta these three, these four products, nothing very exciting. For Marseille, we have those are the industry inputs, but we have gold rings, leather wallets, chewing gum, kind of all over the place. But Nice is the finest one with some three products that can be sold very conveniently in convenience stores. That's soap, body lotion, and canned corn. Now, the reason why I'm thinking about starting up with a convenience store is because we start with only 5 million buggeroos. And going to financial action, we can get another 5 million from the bank for the initiation of our business, which we will most likely need right off the bat. And our overarching goal, we'll be starting with the basic retail. The idea here is to get something going with profitability, eventually leading up to our first industry. I don't know what that'll be. It'll depend on what the, the, the industry seaports will be providing most likely. As we mature this, we'll move on to either industry level two to maximize profitability in the low, 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 short period of time, as well as media. Media is also awesome. You, you can always put in the money into the brand of your products and capture it on the other side as you own the media company itself. Now, the idea here is to build up all these businesses and then eventually we'll spin them off. The subsidiary DLC can throw the, these firms into a different company, sell it through an IPO, sell the shares, get rid of it, and take that money to build up what we ultimately want, which is the auto industry. So with that in mind, let's start going. I'll try to find some locations for our convenience stores within Nice. Now we're looking at the map. In terms of land value mode, we can see that we have some two very interesting locations around the investment bank and the stock exchange. However, the rest is pretty spread out very nicely. But I'll try to find some locations. Most likely, we'll start out with one location. As you can see, a 60 customer traffic index location will cost seven million and a half plus the building. And they also have to to, to, to manage the building itself. So I'll most likely start here. With 45. That seems pretty good. Uh, we have this model and we have this model. I think I want to use a new model myself because we know that selling is actually half as efficient as purchasing. So we'll start off like this, bring in our first product, body lotion, come in with our second product, cans, can, can corn, sure, why not? And then soap into a selling business. 
So these guys, they're half as efficient as the purchasing, so we'll eventually probably have to double the sales on this end as well, depending on how demand goes and how the seaports run. Now when we look at each individual product, body lotion, we're talking about a product that we're selling at 346 with an overall rating 34, local competitors 44. That's the that, that high level of co competitiveness from the local competitors. Giving us a sweat, so I might want to lower this a bit. 46 versus 44, that seems fair. Go into can core and do the same. 37, we need to go down a bit. 49, maybe that's a bit too much. 48 versus 46, seems fair. And let's see, soap, 39 versus 29. Oof. Okay, that seems pretty uniform across the board. Let's run these for a little while. Call this the Imperium Mark 1 and see how long it takes for this to make some sort of cash. Turn on the charts, go into profit mode, and let's watch. If we run to the stock market and we take a look at our competitors, we really have only five which are public, we have others which are not. You see all these guys, they're not public. As for ourselves, we can come into our corporate details and look at our fantastic balance sheets and income statements. How cool is that? Like you come back from work looking at financial statements, discussing strategy, come to your free time and finally launch Capitalism Lab and watch your own income statements and balance sheets of your own company. Isn't that great? Aren't we all crazy? And that's that. So we've got it running. Things are going fine. Should I invest in training? Well, we're in the profit zone. That's that's a relief, actually. Putting some more more money into training. Let's see how demand comes. So as you can see, this guy here is already at 94, 95% selling. This guy is sitting on his inventory for a third of the time. I guess this one is worth doubling up. Set it up. As we're also investing in training, I can start training earlier. Canned corn seems to be fine. And soap. Yeah, these guys are picking up traction. As you can see in the charts. Sure, we know it's gonna happen eventually, so let's just double them up. And I'll take the time and set this into my library. Why not? It doubled sales doubled sales there we go i'll make things easier in the future now we're still making some cash some buying profit with a silver deposit not not interesting to me timber deposit and interest rates going down okay that's interesting that means we can start to consider being more aggressive uh, not price wise more aggressive Talking about opening stores, so with 44, 46, seems like a good equilibrium. So let's see, we have 7 million bucks already. Perhaps we can start considering getting more of a loan. Ooh, this is a fine amount. And start to look for our second location. Because the more we have, the better. Mm, I see, we have some construction that we we'll need to demolish. 66 versus 54. Seems like it's worth it. I should have duplicated that firm, right? But there we go. Fine and dandy. Nice and running. So this is Imperium Mark 2. Who are you linking? Just trying to prioritize local competitor. Well, my local production. Now the prices are different. You have to standardize this with the cheaper versions of each. Guarantee that both of our stores are competitive. And there you go. How far do we need to go in terms of convenience stores before we can start producing? That's a good question. Our retail stores, our convenience stores, are going to sell, sell beverage, body care, food, livestock, snacks, and tobacco. I have to keep an eye on what's available. Seaport. We have coconut, silica, oil, and chemical minerals. It's 
interesting. Can we produce anything? What about chemical minerals? Let's see. Fix this. With plastic, we can get shampoo. It's interesting because plastic requires oil, and we do have oil. Same for toothpaste. We actually have two products we can make. Three products. Drugs. Ooh. That would require chemical minerals. That's interesting. Drugs. Toilet cleaner. See, chemical minerals and plastics seem to be quite the combo. Polyester. Okay. We do have chemical minerals and oil. That's interesting. So producing plastic may be a requirement. We'll see. Now, as we advance in time, book speed four, we're already in 1991. That's already one year and a half. How are we doing with our corporation in terms of details, income statement, net profit, seven million in our lifetime? It's not bad. So. Perhaps plastic might be a good way to start and begin phase two, which is our industry number one. Now this would allow us with chemical minerals and plastic, ooh, start making drugs. These two body care. Drugs, so let's take a look at drugs here as a whole. Cough pills, cold pills, cough syrup, it requires corn syrup I do not have, and headache pills. We can do two products. But if we can do these two, we can do specialist stores, which are drug stores. And they have a specialty store demand bonus, which is a little red asterisk right there. And that means that if we have enough drug stores, the fact that we have multiple drug stores will mean that we can generate more traffic. And not only will we make money off the drugstore, like we're making money off the convenience store today, we'll also make money off the industry producing the products, which should be simply imported from the seaport. So I see quite a little bit of opportunity, which means that we would need to produce plastic, which I would guess is a medium industry, and I think plastic is very petrochemical. This one looks like it has its face. So let's start constructing it close to the seaport. Why not? Cheap land, right? Some mansions here increasing land value. Maybe you can build them down here. Why not? So when you have only one product, you can start up with a purchasing unit right in the middle. A manufacturing right in the middle and a sales unit. Purchasing will purchase oil. We're making our plastic. We're selling our plastic. Now I'll get this down out of internal sale and try to get it up and running. This will be Imperium Plastic Industries. So plastic is already running. Now our next step is to produce our first drugs. I'll guess that they're medium as well. I may have one for each, or should I make a large one for both? That's interesting. I am not sure. I think one factory for the easy drugs. We're out of cash, of course, but. We can go down and get a loan of 10 million buckaroos. Let's do that. Go up to our factory. This is 1 million to set up. Seems like it's affordable. And when you have this configuration, you only need two purchasing units on opposite ends. One bringing in chemical minerals, the other bringing in my plastic. We'll set up our two manufacturing, our two sales. We do not have enough cash. Of course, we do not have enough cash. So what do we do? <clears throat> we can borrow two million. Okay, I'll take that. Sales seventy-three thousand. 
we'll go in the diagonal. We got exit X shampoo. Let's go up and this way. And you will produce. Oh yeah, right. We're doing cold pills and headache pills. Okay, you're stuck. Take this off internal sale for now. Got to make some money. If anyone is ever interested. Got another two hundred thousand. That's not enough to set up my drug stores. Now we're gonna put stores. Take them off to training. Maximize our cash for now. I think the short-term money is definitely well worth it. Take a look at pricing. 45 local. Ooh, they're getting tougher. 45 is 48. Okay, I guess I can go up a little bit with you guys. So 42 and 41 have to go lower on you guys. Damn. Not easy, not easy. Everybody is in my plastic. No, only myself. Anybody interested in my drugs? Not yet. I still don't have enough cash to build up my drug stores. Yeah, the bank still only wants to give us two million and a half. I'll take it anyway. Maybe I can set up my first stores now. Drug store. How much do I need? Three hundred sixty thousand. Can I build that? Four million. I might have to be a little more humble. That time passed a little bit faster. Not that much. But let's go again to the bank. Two million. I'll take that. And let's begin our drugstore solutions. It's 45, 57, 7 million. Yeah, it's a little bit too expensive. 36. I've had success with this before. I'll take that. Mm, no, I'll have to do a new one here. Purchasing and purchasing, sales and sales, cold pills and headache pills. Put those in. Our local competitors at 43. I'm at 15. Okay, that's a little bit better. Oof. Not easy. <laughs> it never is, is it? And we'll put here at Imperium Pharma One. Put it speed four. Let it bring in some money. Six million cash, profits okay. Now I could try to put these guys to get some brand. Uh, I'm not so comfortable in giving money to the advertisers when it's not myself that's receiving the money on the other end. As for my industry, not making much money. Plastic, of course not. I would need random players who want to get my plastic but it's set up right there ready for them whenever they are ready so pharma. let's see of course sales are overwhelmed as per usual putting some training double up our capacity of sales look at those charts skyrocket that's why you really need to double those up Of course, these being my products, they would benefit from having ads. This isn't the smartest layout if I want to do that. Although I could bring down the purchase here and, and then put the advertising in the middle. Okay, but that's a good start. We're into the profit zone. With our one store, we're at 18 million buckaroos with 13 million coming in 
every year. Let's try to double this up, perhaps the better location, 57, 42, 60. Okay, that seems pretty good. So let's do the secret duplicate button right there. <laughs> Just like that. But we do need it. Ooh, even prices come out right. Isn't that impressive? But we are pretty much maxed out on the capacity of the city, which is interesting. Maybe we'll need to build up stores in other cities. Which would be quite an interesting turn of events. Let's see if Marseille can fit a new drugstore. Let's see. As I can see, it's very, very concentrated. 51, 48 traffic, 93. That's impressive. 11 million. Why not? So let's go purchasing, purchasing. Uh, all cities, Imperium, Headache, Cold, Sales and Sales. Now we have a higher cost here as we have freight as well. Gotta get these guys. Down. Not as profitable. Oops, oops, go back. 36 versus 45, still not enough. Okay, a little bit of lead. And how are we doing here? Purchasing is slow, huh? Why is that? Our industry is not keeping up. Maximize this, yep, they're producing all they can. Which is interesting. What I could do is put in one more cold pills. One more sales unit. Increase our output. Still, we may want to have a dedicated factory for each. We're up to 35 million. Good. Not that bad. We are pretty much maxed out here. Okay. So I think that's a very good start. We'll see how things progress. And if I were to evaluate, I'll see that. We are still here, exploring industry number one, drugs. Maybe we can go into shampoo and, and body populations. Seaport is selling these products, which is very good. That will guarantee that they will continue supplying them to me. Ooh, hair color. Where can I sell that? It's cosmetics as well. This is cosmetics, this is body care products. So it's going to be sold in cosmetic store and department store. This can be sold in cosmetic store. Soap can also be sold in cosmetic store. So maybe I can even open cosmetic stores. Which is very interesting. We'll make things a little bit more complex. But I'll have to ponder on that a little bit later. I think we've begun here our, our industry. Let's see what's up next in the next episode. Thank you.